Hello, this is Dr. J back with some more. Let's play Super Mario 64. It looks like Mario has gotten a bit tired on us and has fallen asleep. Wake up, Mario. There's a world to be saved. No sleeping on the job. So I've decided that the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and get those 100 coin stars out of the way. First here at uh, the bob -omb Battlefield. Oh, and of course, we also have to get the uh, the wing cap star here that we can get now that we have the wing cap. I almost forgot about that. So that's the first order of business. So once again, we have to scale the mountain once the controls decide to stop being goofy. Yeah, we end up scaling this mountain quite a bit on this course. Because we're going to need to use the cannon to go to that flying island. And from there, we're going to use the winged cap to get the... God dang it, how do I keep doing that? I do that a lot at that particular point, which means the perspective is very deceptive to me. I, I hit that drop-off before I think I'm at it, apparently. Okay, let's try this again. Jump a little earlier. Maybe use the long jump. Okay, not get crushed by the iron balls. So. Alright. We'll stop spacing out. It's getting a little late in the day. So I'm probably getting tired, even though I don't feel too tired yet. Whoa, alright. That was close. Okay, so... This can either be really easy to get, if you have just a little bit of a finesse. A little bit of a light touch. Or it can be a real pain. What we have to do, now that we have the wing cap equipped, is use this cannon. Blast right into the center of this ring of coins, and it's going to make other rings of coins appear. If we can fly right through them all in the first shot, this is easy. Missed. I went a little bit too high. Now if we can circle back and fly through it... Okay, that wasn't too bad. Not too bad. Now... Okay, whoa, Mario's getting out of control. Okay. Yeah, I, I just, I needed to get him on the ground. He was just doing his own thing. That happens with the wing cap. You just kind of lose control and Mario just starts wildly going up and down. It's very strange. I don't know why they programmed it that way. Okay, we have cleared all of the, uh, I guess I'll call them named stars on the bob -omb battlefield. Now, now it's time to get the 100 coin star. Now, of the early courses, this might actually be the trickiest one to get the 100 coins for. Because there's not a lot of coins to spare here. So you need to get just about all of them, including those ones that are up in the sky. Okay, I thought that would break. I don't know if it has coins in it or not. Maybe if I throw it into a bigger box, bigger block. All right, well, whatever. We did get some coins out of it. But yeah, we're also going to need to get coins from those rings in the sky, which is a real pain due to how hard it is to control the wing cap. We are also going to want to get all of the red coins, because they're worth two each. Kill all the enemies, because they're worth one each, these bob -omb's and Goombas. Like I said, there's not a lot of coins to spare here at all, so you just about need them all. If it takes me a really long time, I might montage this. We'll see.
Okay, that's irritating. Yay! No! Oh, it's gonna be so annoying to get! Yeah, we did it! Okay, we caused a shadow star to appear from collecting eight red coins at the same time, but we got the real star. Oh, uh, I've decided I'm definitely going to montage that. That took forever. And so the, you can see how Mario was just going all over the place when I was trying to get those coins in the sky with the wing cap. I promise I'm not that awful at controlling it. Like, you might see how sometimes I would be approaching a group of coins and then Mario would just dive under them. He did that of his own volition. I did not touch the stick and he would just dive underneath the coins. Mario loves diving and then ascending rapidly, completely on his own, of his own volition. Oh my gosh, I hate using the wing cap. The flight controls are terrible. Alright, but that's done. We got all 100 coins at the bob -omb battlefield. So, we never have to do that again. And now we've cleared the bob -omb battlefield completely. Uh, aside from the 100 coin... Uh, Star, I really like the bob -omb Battlefield. I think it's a really nice opening course for the game. And now we're going to get 100 coins for Womp's Fortress. And then we'll have completely cleared this one. Getting 100 coins is way easier on this course. They are far more abundant. For example, this makes me a huge jerk. Like we said... Mario turns into a murderous fiend when he has to get 100 coins. I'm going to sneak up on these piranha plants and then pop them because they cough up a blue coin which is worth 5 when you get them. So that's pretty huge. Ring of coins here. See if there's any in this block. Yep, there were a few. Grab these. Alright, we're not even going to need that red coin that's uh, further along the path. So we're just going to take this shortcut. Grab a few more. Grab these. Another line of coins right here. Yeah, the coins are super abundant at Womp's Fortress. And look at this. I overlooked this before because I didn't need it, but if you stomp that, oh look, four blue coins. That's another 20 coins right there. We're already at 59. It's so much easier to reach 100 coins here than it is on bob -on Battlefield. It's unbelievable. Okay, now we need to ascend the tower a bit. Like I said, we don't need that one down there. We're totally okay skipping it. I'll go ahead and grab this one, since I'm right here. And they are worth two. I don't think we're even going to need those coins up there on those rotating islands. Okay. Once again, we're going to be a huge jerk. Sneak up on this peacefully sleeping plant and pop it right in the face. Coughs up a nice blue coin. Do the wall hugging shimmy, grab that red coin there. Okay, bunch more we can get on this plank here. And now, another blue coin we can get by sneaking up on this fellow. It's a little hard to get the sensitivity right on the stick. It feels like it goes from barely moving to moving really fast. Oh no! No! Are we going to miss it? Oh, that's a real pain. Come on. Come on. Phew! Okay, that was really irritating the way it dropped off the ledge like that. I'm not a fan of what happened there. But whatever, we got it in the end. At least it was polite enough to not disappear on us. In case you're wondering, no, you can't get coins from enemies after they respawn. Once per enemy, which fair enough, it would be really easy to cheese this otherwise. 
bunch more coins right here. You may hear my cat in the background wanting to be fed. Her food dispenser will be giving her her dinner in half an hour, which this video certainly won't be that long, so we may be listening to her for the duration of the video if she decides to be vocal. These Womps also give quite a few coins when crushed. All right, one more Womp and I think we've done it. All right, that is so much easier than the bob -omb Battlefield. Love it. Would help if I didn't miss. Would I like to save? Yes, please. All right, that's Womp's Fortress clear. We will never be coming back here. We have all of the stars. A fine course, I like that one too. Okay, now that we have fully cleared bob -omb Battlefield and Womp's Fortress, we can move on to a new course next. We'll just break through the seal on this three-star door. And that leads us to our first water level. No, I'm not hugely enamored of the water levels. Red for the wing cap, green for the metal cap, blue for the vanish cap. However, it doesn't tell you where you need to go in order to get them. You saw that the wing cap is kind of well hidden, you, that you have to stand in that shaft of light and look up into the sun in order to magically teleport to the wing cap zone. There's a toad standing over here. What's he have to say? The names of the stars are also hints for finding them. Yep, they sure are. And you can collect the stars in any order. Yep, I already told the viewers about this. We're all waiting for your help. Thanks, Toad. You can see a nice aquarium here. Okay, so at least this room has a purpose, what with the aquariums and such. Anyway, yeah, so I'm not hugely enamored of the water levels because the swim controls... I mean, they're not terrible. They're better than the wing, ca the wing cap, at least. But, as is almost always the case in action games, swimming is... Kind of awkward, kind of slow, doesn't feel great. But anyway, I do like this pirate cove, however. It's quite atmospheric. Sort of a gray overcast sky. Looks like they just mirrored it. You can see it's identical. It's symmetrical on the left and right sides. So that's kind of funny. But uh, yeah, it like I said, it's atmospheric. You see the fog and just looks really cool. So anyway, let's go ahead and grab the first star. Those are just more tutorial signs. Explaining that you do have an air limit and you can run out of air. There's sort of a bug you can exploit where if you take damage, you can go in the water and then surface and it will actually recharge your damage because your damage meter and your breath meter are basically the same. Anyway, for this first star, we need to swim down to the pirate ship and we need to get that eel to come out, which means we need to get close to him. I think it's... Hmm, I don't remember its name. Usagi or Unagi. I don't think it's Usagi. I think Usagi means rabbit in Japanese. Maybe it's Unagi. Anyway, it's something like that. There's some nice colorful fish that kind of looked like koi. Alright, you can see that we were running low on air. Hopefully, I got close enough to the eel to make him come out. Okay, he did. Good. Now we'll be able to enter the ship. Okay, so here in the ship, you'll see some treasure chests, and you have to open them in a specific order. Which is kind of weird, because I don't... I don't know that there's a hint to the order you need to open them in anywhere. But they do put out air bubbles when you open them, so at least it's not too cruel about it. Second chest is this one. And then the third chest is this one over here. 
and then the fourth chest. But yeah, I think you just have to trial and error it to figure out the order you open these chests in. And why did we do that? Because that is going to lower the water level in the ship. Actually, what's happening is the ship is surfacing. You know, how does opening chests cause the ship to surface? Well, it's magical Mario Land, don't question it. And the reason we needed to do that is because we need to be able to jump to open the block that the star is waiting in, and you can't jump underwater. Now, I might have a lot of trouble make, making these jumps here, because it's really tricky, actually. Yeah, see that? It's really... This part's weird. It's... It's strange how difficult it is. And it's not timed or anything, so it's... It's not like there's any penalty for failing other than having to make the jumps again. But yeah, this is some pretty tricky 3D platforming at this part. This last part here is probably the hardest. I need to try to land on that plank. Okay, I did it. Oh no, no! Okay, and then from the plank to that platform there is also kind of hard. Maybe if I do the... No, no, I was going to try to do the backflip. So I tried to turn away to face away to do the backflip. But it's so sensitive that just caused Mario to start sliding down the side. So that was a bad idea. Hmm, I wonder if I can backflip onto it from this platform. I kind of doubt it. Especially if the camera is so uncooperative like that. Okay, and also if it makes me crawl instead of backflip. Okay, nope, that was a fail. Yeah, this part's weirdly annoying. I don't know why they made it so annoying. Okay. Alright, I think we're good. One more jump. Alright. We did it. Yeah, it's weirdly annoying platforming there at the end, but we got it. First star has been acquired. Plunder in the sunken ship. We didn't even bother to get any coins while we were at it. All right, we're going to jump right back in for the next star of Jolly Roger Bay. Can the eel come out to play? Now, this is another one where if you've got some finesse, a light touch, this one can be really, really easy. Or if you mess it up, mess up the initial point where it can be really easy to get the star. Okay, and I am not timing the swimming correctly at all. At all. Wow. But yeah, what you need to do is lure the eel out. He's hiding in a cave now. And he's got a star on his tail, at the very end of his tail. And if you swim and grab the star as he's coming out of the cave, well, that's easy. Bam. You got it. But if he gets all the way out of the cave and you have to chase him around, try and get the star then, then it can be very difficult. Now, I managed to do it the easy way on my practice run, but... The LP curse being what it is, probably going to fail this time. No, I did it. Nice. Alright, that's the easy way to get that star. If he escapes and starts swimming around with the star still attached to his tail, this becomes a lot more difficult. But we got it. Second star down in, well, not record time, but very quickly. Okay, very nice, very nice. Now for the third one. Yeah, as you can see, this is not too bad. Yeah, the swimming is a little awkward. It's kind of slow. But it's not its not awful. As 3D platformer water worlds go, this is very inoffensive in general. And as I said, I really like the atmosphere. So I, I don't mind Jolly Roger Bay too much. I think this is... There's either two or three water courses in this game. They really liked their water courses in Mario 64. Oh, go away, eel. Okay, so the next star is going to be in this cave. 
And this cave has a couple obstacles. One is... Did I provoke it? Looks like I didn't. Ugh, let's just go quickly. There, okay. It's those collapsing pillars. And that's one of the obstacles, so you have to watch out for those. And the other one is the Goombas. Not exactly intimidating. The most basic of all Mario enemies. The falling pillars are the bigger threat, but not a big deal. We have arrived at another formation of treasure chests you have to open in the right order. Just to show you what happens if you open them in the wrong order. There, you get electrocuted. There's lots of coins lying around to restore your health, so it's not a big deal. But yeah, you just, once again, I don't know of any way to figure this out other than to trial and error it. But this is the correct order. And voila! Third star acquired, just that easy. Treasure of the Ocean Cove acquired. Next up, the red coins. So as usual, this can be one of the trickier or at least more time-consuming stars because you gotta track down and find eight separate collectibles or whatever you want to call them and then find the actual star itself once you've gotten them. So the first four, I think, are going to be in these clams. And the clams can hurt you, so you want to be careful as you swim close to make them open up and then grab the... Okay, so that's a speedy shell. If you grab it, you'll speed around. That will just make me lose control and just be annoying, so I'm not going to do that. Uh, I think there's another clam. Yeah, this one. Uh, oh, here's where the swim controls get a little annoying. Okay, whatever. We got it. Okay, so that's three. There's one more clam coin, which is just about at the very bottom here. Apparently Mario doesn't have to worry about the bends. He can just swim to any depth and come back up at full speed, no problem. The pressure doesn't get to him at all. By the way, that star there that I'm having trouble focusing on because of the camera, we cannot get at that right now because of the current. It doesn't allow us to swim near it. We're not going to be able to get that star for a while. We need to get another special cap before we are able to get that one. So we'll be coming back to fully clear this course much later. Okay, so that's four of the red coins acquired. Uh, let's see. Three of them are on the ship. Where was the final one? I'm trying to remember. Ah, there it is, right there. While we're at it, we might as well talk to our friendly pink bob -omb. By the way, from this side view, you can tell his eyes aren't actually attached to his face. Which just makes his anatomy even weirder than it already was. And let's face it, it was already pretty weird to begin with. No offense, little pink bob -omb buddy. I think you're cool. Alright. But we actually... I was just talking to him because I was here. We don't actually want the cannon for this. Shimmy up. Look at it. Mario is such an acrobat. That is an impressive handstand. Okay. That's five red coins acquired. The other three are going to be over on the ship. The way to get to the ship now that it's surfaced is we activate this block. Swim across these gangplanks, or whatever they're called. You can be fairly slow because it's a generous timer. All right, here we are. Coin number six. Don't get in the way of that crate that's sliding around the deck. It will hurt you. 
coin 7, coin 8. Not too bad once you know where all the coins are. But of course it can take a while to find them all if you haven't done it before. That's another scar acquired. Okay, of the named stars, there's only one more that we can get right now. Because again, we don't have the cap that we need to get uh, star number six. So for this one, we're going to need to use the cannon that we unlocked while getting the previous star. I'm actually going to make a quick save state here just in case I screw up the shot. Which again, I don't think is really cheating because I can try this shot endlessly even if I didn't make a save state. And this will just save me some time if I blow it. I think uh, about there. Alright, did it. There is an extra life here. And then... Nope, nope. Turn. Okay. We want to be pointing... Right at the block. We want to add a little forward momentum by holding the stick forward here, but not too much. Okay. We took some damage, but who cares? Another star acquired. Here we go! Very nice. Okay, there is one star left that we can get in the Jolly Roger Bay right now, and that of course is the 100 coin star. This one's a little tricky too, because there's not a huge surplus of coins, but it is not as bad as the bob -Omb Battlefield. So this is actually my second take getting 100 coins here, because on my first try something really infuriating happened. I missed a single blue coin. Uh, I, d I just ran by it and then had to double back for it, which caused me to miss one of the blue coins that don't stick around for very long. And I was stuck at 99 coins. And I could not find a single coin, a single coin anywhere on the level. So I trapped at 99, unable to get the 100th. Could not find a 100th coin anywhere after I missed a single blue coin. Uh, I was pretty infuriated by that, so I decided to just cut that take completely because it was so stupid. That was really irritating. So I'm probably just going to montage the rest of this second take, and hopefully that won't happen again. Because that was really stupid. <laughs> so anyway, see you on the other side of the montage. Okay, so here's the point where I missed one blue coin, which caused me to get trapped at 99 coins and unable to complete the 100 coin star. Now that I realize that can happen, it's up in the air to me whether the bob -Omb Battlefield or the Jolly Roger Bay uh, 100 coin star is more annoying. It's no longer a shoe in that it's the bob -Omb Battlefield. And we got it. All right, it's done. We are not done with the Jolly Roger Bay forever, because we're going to have to come back for the last star once we have the cap we need for it.
All right. So that is the first two courses fully cleared. The third course almost fully cleared. We've gotten all the stars that we can get for now. And of course we got the wing cap and the star in the wing cap zone. So we're doing well, 21 stars so far. Next, we are going to unlock and complete the fourth course. Hopefully you'll join me for that and I'll see you then. Bye.